Hi, this is group 8, and today we are presenting you Hourglass. So let's start without any further ado. So Hourglass is a to-do list app. We have a login system here. Let's register our first user. So we type in the username and we type in the password with secure text entry. And once it's done, we register in the app and this is the main page. So let's see how we log in. As you can see, there's no forget password button on this page. That is because you can never forget your password as it is your face. It uses face ID or touch ID to get your password and it logs you in. It's as safe as that. So this is the main page, the to-do list page, and here you can see the plus sign at the very top. Let's go on and add a new category. Since this is Thanksgiving week, we all have some kind of shopping to be done. Let's add the first item in the shopping category. Let's go buy turkey. We add that. We add the other item, which is buy spoons. And since it's Black Friday, let's go on and add one more, which is Black Friday. As you can see, the item that was added at the very top has the darkest color with the recent one going to a lighter shade. This shows the priority of the list, known as color priority. You can tick off or tick uh, uh, or untick the task, and you can delete them with just a swipe. This is the basic functionality of the to-do list. Let's go on and add another category called homework. Once we add homework, let's see how it works again. So when you add homework one, it has a light shade, but as soon as you add homework two, the homework one would get a darker shade with the homework two getting the lighter shade, meaning that homework one has to be given more priority over homework two. And the search works in the way that if I type one, I get homework one, and if I type two, I get homework two. That is how the search bar is fully functional on this to-do list app. The second thing is the read tab. So in the read tab, you can add any kind of paper that you need to read about. So for example, the subject of my interest is music information retrieval. So let's go on and add that. Once I add it, I can search for papers directly from my app on Google Scholar and I can read papers about music information retrieval or any other subject of my interest on Google Scholar through my app without going on the browser. It has a nice reader to it. Once I'm done, I can also search it on GW Library's website. So I can search which shelf the book is on or whether it's available online. This is very convenient for students, for professors, for researchers alike. And this is the beauty of the read tab. We can also add names of a person. For example, let's add Dr. Walt Mellow's name there and we can as we can see there's google scholar search there's his one of his papers and as you can see we can access also gw libraries from that and similar to the to-do list app we can do the delete swipe for deleting any of the tasks that are done from the read tab Finally, we have put a timer so that we can time our to-do list task individually and try to analyze how much time we are taking for each task. This is a beta feature of the app and we are working to perfectionize it for our public release of the application. So this is our class. We hope that you liked our our class app. It is made by Vedant, Limin, Jin and Jinyan. We are group eight and we are happy to present our class to you today. Thank you.